News is circulating that OpenAI executives are planning to meet with Hollywood studios in the coming weeks of April. The discussions began in February when Sora was first introduced. Sora AI, everybody, is going to be pitching to Los Angeles now to all of Hollywood. We talk about Sora AI. Now, it's a program where you can type in stuff and it makes cinematic videos. Well, OpenAI's strategic move to engage with Hollywood indicates they are trying to integrate Sora into mainstream entertainment production. So does it mean OpenAI is heading to Hollywood? And if this happens in the future, what will be the effects? So, if you're not living under a rock, you might know about a tool called Sora. This tool can turn your text into a video. And we're not talking about odd AI-generated clips, but really top-notch videos that look amazing and real. Sora came out not too long ago, and it's been a game-changer. A few days ago, on March 25th, 2024, OpenAI provided an exciting update on their blog about Sora, titled Sora First Impressions. They wrote in their blog post, since we introduced Sora to the world last month, we've been working with visual artists, designers, creative directors, and filmmakers to learn how Sora might aid in their creative process. OpenAI has prioritized granting early access to creatives and artists, allowing them to explore the boundaries of creativity with Sora. And guess what? Based in Toronto, the multimedia production company Shy Kids utilized it for their short film about a balloon man. Now look at this video. Well, Walter, who directed Airhead, video highlighted Sora's ability not only to create realistic content, but also to produce surreal and abstract creations, ushering in a new era of expressionism. The Airhead trio, consisting of Walter Woodman, Sidney Leader, and Patrick Cederberg, expressed excitement about the possibilities Sora offers. They said, As great as Sora is at generating things that appear real, what excites us is its ability to make things that are totally surreal. Well, that's not it. The news is out that Tyler Perry put a hold on expanding his film studio, which was going to cost $800 million after he got a look at Sora's debut on February 15th. Tyler Perry tells The Hollywood Reporter that he is pressing pause because of the rapid rise of artificial intelligence. That's right. He was planning to invest in a bigger studio, but then he saw the power of AI how it can whip up scenes in any place you can think of, like a snowy landscape or even the moon, without actually having to go there or build expensive sets. This could mean big savings in both money and time when making movies. I had gotten word over the last year or so that this was coming, but I had no idea until recently when I saw the demonstrations of what it's able to do. It's shocking to me, said Perry. Now, according to him, he has even started using AI for aging makeup effects in a couple of his upcoming movies, cutting down on hours of work. However, at the same time, Perry is concerned about what this means for people who work in the movie industry. AI could replace jobs like those of actors or crew members. He knows that AI isn't just affecting Hollywood. It's changing lots of jobs around the world. Perry believes that everyone needs to work together, not just in the movie business, but also in government to make sure people's jobs are safe. He thinks there should be rules to make sure AI doesn't take over too much. People's reaction to this news. When people got to know that Sora is pitching Hollywood, their reactions were mixed. Someone shared their views that if not for artificial intelligence, Hollywood wouldn't have any intelligence at all. Well, somebody had to say it. Well, now actors who are more so on the ugly side might actually be more so on the famous side because they will finally be able to show their talent even if they aren't oh so beautiful. Less vanity. Sounds wonderful. Hollywood strike for job security. Last year, the Screen Actors Guild, or SAG, strikes lasted a while because the studios wanted actors and creators to give up their rights in a big way. The deal was that once they signed a contract, the studios could use their images forever with AI and not have to keep paying them. But the writers and SAG weren't having it. The writers recognized that AI wasn't going anywhere, so they made sure their contracts included a clause that guaranteed they get credit for their work, even when AI uses it. This move helped them regain some control. On the other hand, the situation with SAG is a little more complicated. They managed to reach an agreement where the studios gave in on some of the AI issues, but it's still a bit unclear how much protection the actors really have. 
A lot of actors are not too pleased with how things stand with AI in their contracts. The whole thing hasn't been completely figured out yet. Hollywood studios are now testing new AI tools to help save money and speed up their workflow. Despite fears of AI taking jobs, the market for generative AI in media and entertainment is expected to grow significantly. So, what's the future of Hollywood? Remember when the VCR was introduced, Hollywood feared it would harm their business, worrying that people would watch movies without paying for them. However, VCRs ended up creating a new market for movies, boosting Hollywood's profits as people bought or rented tapes. Similarly, with the rise of AI in entertainment, there's a debate. Some fear it might replace jobs in the industry, like actors and set designers, while others see it as a chance for new creative opportunities. Just as handmade items are valued for the care put into them, there may be a demand for human-made movies and shows crafted with passion and originality. Five months before, a big name, Tim Weber, known for his work on big movies like Harry Potter, Gravity, and Avatar, shared his thoughts on AI's impact on movie visual effects. Initially, there was concern in the industry that AI might replace human jobs. However, Tim pointed out that as people began to work with AI, they found it didn't replace them, but rather sped up their work and made it more efficient. But keep in mind that he said this five months ago, while Sora was launched on March 15th, 2024. With all sorts of amazing new tools popping up every day, I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a new take on it all by now. Other AI tools that can be used in film production. Tools like Runway and Pika Labs have simplified AI video creation by allowing users to input a few words and clicks to generate videos. Adobe has also joined the AI video creation arena by assembling a 50-person research team dedicated to various aspects of video creation, including video, music, speech, sound effects, animation, and interaction design. Gene AI video generators such as Runway ML, Pika Labs, and Kyber can even create animatics. For example, using Runway ML Gen 1, one can apply a specific style to a basic reference video shot on a mobile phone and quickly create rough animatics. This advancement allows writers, showrunners, and directors to present a basic version of their movie rather than just a text treatment. While Runway ML is known for its text-to-video capabilities, it also provides AI-based editing tools such as background cleanup, slow motion video conversion, and color grading based on text prompts. The Remove Background tool automates the process of isolating elements in a video, enabling them to be composited onto new backgrounds. Adobe has hinted at incorporating Firefly features into Premiere and After Effects, potentially making a significant impact due to the widespread use of Adobe products in the industry compared to standalone tools like Runway. The introduction of AI-powered tools like Morph Studio marks a significant shift in various industries, particularly in film production where the creation of trailers has traditionally been a labor-intensive process. With Morph Studio, filmmakers can now generate entire trailers simply by inputting a text prompt, demonstrating the rapid advancement of AI technology in content creation. This innovation, combined with platforms like Sora, offers unprecedented opportunities for individuals to engage in filmmaking without extensive technical expertise. However, the development of such AI tools raises important considerations regarding their broader impact. While they undoubtedly streamline the creative process and democratize content creation, there are concerns about the potential displacement of jobs, particularly in fields like video editing. As AI technologies become more sophisticated, there's a risk that certain roles within the industry may become obsolete or significantly reduced in demand. While Sora V1 lays the foundation, it's essential to acknowledge that this is just the beginning. Like any evolving technology, Sora will undergo significant improvements in subsequent versions. As OpenAI refines the platform, we can expect even more remarkable capabilities, potentially revolutionizing the filmmaking industry and beyond. Well, what are your thoughts? Will Sora successfully enter the Hollywood market? If so, what will be the future for us as humans? Share your insights in the comments below. Also, check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.